folks, uh, let me get your attention for a little bit. I, I want to show you uh, where we are project-wise, and, and uh, what I want to show you in particular is I want to show you enveloping. And enveloping is how you attach geometry to a rig. I, I wanna, I'm going to show you guys how you attach geometry to a rig. This is an important part of this process. And what I have here, I have a few things here. Um, I have, and let me flip that back there. I have a rig, okay, with a fairly simple animation on it, which is just that going on with it, right? Now, this is the thing that controls our geometry. Uh, what I want to show you is how you attach geometry to it. You could attach any geometry to it. Um, that's why I'm having you animate this first and then later go back and add what you need in terms of um, whatever is going to be on it. Um, I'm going to grab the synoptic window on this by I take any old element on it and I hit F3 like that. And I'm going to go to reset. Now, since I'm keyframed, it doesn't matter where I am. When I go reset all, it leaps to this position. This is called the T position. This is where you assign geometry. This is very, very important, the T position. Now, remember, when I move off of it, it will go back to whatever it's doing, which is great. So I'm going to just pick a place. I'm going to hit reset all, and then I'm in the position to assign geometry. Um, I'm going to close this. The default geometry you can assign is we have a, um, a primitive of a dude. Is it this dude? Maybe it's this dude. Let me see. Is it that dude? That's a dude. That's not the right dude because you see he's not the right height. And he's also enveloped, so I'm going to undo that dude. Go away. Good. Um, it must be uh, character biped, maybe? That looks like the right dude. Although he's also enveloped, um, I would have to remove his envelope. Edit, undo. I'm just going to control Z my undos to get rid of him. Oh, and we jumped off that, but that's not a big deal. I can go back here, I can hit F3, reset, uh, reset all. And let me find him. Um, where the hell is he? Character, there's dog, elephant, little dude. Maybe he's this guy. That looks like the right guy. He'll work. Um, he actually, I can tell by the colors, he has an envelope on him too. Um, I'm going to remove it um, just because he's something to start with. Uh, I'm going to take this here, um, and we'll get more into this later, but I'm going to uh, remove my envelope. Yes. So now I have just this guy here, um, and I want to ditch that other um, skeleton. Ah. Nope. I'm going to get it right eventually. Uh, I'm looking for an 8 key. There we go. Uh, I'm going to take my man maker here and I'm just going to drag this character out here. Can I do that? I wonder if I can just put it under the root. Uh, character to the scene root. Good. Yes. And then I can actually um, hopefully delete this. Say goodbye. Select the whole thing and say goodbye. This is the rig I don't want. Good. And now we have this character and this rig, which is a rig which has all the dancing and stuff going on on it. This is the one we want. Now, I got to make this geometry here respond to what this rig is doing. And this is a process called enveloping. Uh, what enveloping consists of is you're basically you're taking every point of a piece of geometry and you're telling it be deformed by, in this case, a skeleton. Be deformed by this other thing. Uh, we have a bunch of procedures to do this. Uh, I'm going to hit my 8 key again. The 8 key opens what's called an explorer window. The explorer is my whole scene um, laid out in a directory structure, everything in it. Um, just as an example, if I go here and I go here, you actually get something that works much like an explorer. Uh, if I go here, and I'm going to go into Program Files, and I'm going to go into Autodesk, and I'm going to go into Soft Image, and I'm going to go into, and I could keep going like this. This is a hierarchical structure. It shows every directory I have, right? If I look at the explorer, this also is a hierarchical structure. 
it's just of my scene. If I open this, it's going to show what's in the character, what's in this part of the character, all the operations that made it, so on and so forth. So this is just another way of looking at my scene, just laying it out in this hierarchical structure so you can get to it. Here's why that's important. In my biped rig, I have something called the envelope group. The envelope group is the actual stuff, and if I go down to this window, I'll show you. I'm going to lose the grid with a G button, and then I'm going to lose the geometry. Oh, actually, I'm just going to hide that for a second. This is what's supposed to control my rig, just that white stuff, nothing else. So when I select that, I get all the right stuff that I need to do that. Um, I'm going to unhide my character now, H, like that. So when I want to attach it all, attach this geometry to that rig, I select the rig, like I did right there, I go under the animate bar to envelope, set envelope. Um, I'm going to hit yes to this, you just always hit yes to this. And then I pick what is going to control what. I click the envelope group, and if you look on the bottom it will say the right mouse button ends the picking. I'm going to click my right mouse button, and that is the assignment. What's happened is it takes every bone and it gives them a color, and then the points are controlled by the color. Now in this case I'm defaulting to two skeletal objects, meaning if I have a point right here on my arm, for example, um, it would be controlled by the bone over here, which you know in this case is yellow, and the bone over here, which in this case is blue. Now I can increase that, and it can sometimes smooth things out. Um, I'm going to put four, I might regret it later. Um, to see what that looks like now, I can jump off this, and this is what it looks like moving. Uh, if I remove that like that, you'll see it's much slower now. That before when I was animating, things would move much quicker. When you do this type of enveloping assignment, it takes a lot more energy to move things around at this point. Uh, that's one of the reasons you can wait and do it. And I can still animate. For example, I can see that that arm is messed up there. So I'm going to um, move this down to put that arm in the right place. And notice when I do it, if you look in this view here, notice how, um, I don't want to call it flesh, but whatever would be under his arm. Okay. <laughs> the imaginary muscle, let's say, moves as well. Because it's all being controlled by these various bones. Now, if I do that perfectly, this all works well, and you put some texture on this, and if I were to, um, let's go to a, uh, you know what we'll do? We'll just pull a render region on it. So in the render region, you won't see the, um, yeah. Oh my God. That's terrifying looking for so many reasons. The Barbie doll crotch is a big reason. He does have a belly button, which I think is new. Kind of reminds me of Attack on Titan. Attack on what? Um, Attack on Titan. What was it's Attack on Titan? Titan? Titan's uh, Titan pretty much naked like this. Who? 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 <laughs> it's a Titan. Oh, it's an anime. I see. Yeah, it's an anime. He was it's naked and he had, no, he had no genitalia either? <laughs> Did they give him genitalia at least? Did, did he have genitalia, whoever this person was attacking? Thankfully, no. You see, what the hell? <laughs> that because in the anime, the giants cannot reproduce. Ah. They're only existing to devour the human race uh, to extinction. So that's how they got around the whole... Pretty, pretty much being big-ass giants. Yeah. <laughs> big-ass giants who eat uh, humans. Without genitalia. That's why they're mad. <laughs> I'd be mad. Okay. This is that moving at speed, and actually even within this, we can see a problem. You see how the underarms are messed up? There's another tool to fix that, um, which is called weight painting. Um, I'm going to show it to you. Should I show it to you? No, I'm going to show it to you. Um, weight painting is the process of reassigning how these things go on, and we have a whole special menu for this. Um, if I go to here, I can see I'm having a problem right there. So let's go to hidden line removal here. And you can see like that underarm ain't working right, right? I want to fix it. I have a separate menu for this. I think it's this one. Yes. 
This is the weight painting menu. The weight painting menu lets me pick a bone and then reassign the way it affects what's going on there. So I'm going to pick this geometry and when I do, it gives me all the various bones that are in there. And I think the problem here is like when I move this, that's being pushed in and it should be held out by whatever this green thing is here, uh, which I'm going to guess is my left shoulder. Um, I don't have to guess. I can go to wire uh, frame and I should be able to see in there directly that yes, my left shoulder is green if we deselect it. Ah, let's select this guy. Let's select this guy. I hope that's the right one. I'm going to go with it is the right one because it's lit up nicely. Now, since it's lit up nicely, um, this is actually a small paint program. And when I start painting, I'm going to be painting by adding green to whatever I'm painting with. Um, watch, if I select this, we have left shoulder picked, which is the deformer picked, and I hit this, good. Now this is a paintbrush, and this paintbrush, I think I changed the size with the up and down arrow keys, see that? So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller like that, and then I'm going to dive on some paint. And you see how that pops out? Now that might be a little bit messy, but I can also smooth it. Um, here's smoothing. And that should even out these numbers. And I should be able to actually slide on my timeline and see if that's working better, which it is. Now I have to do the other arm. Da, da, da. We'll go over here. And I can see already what bone that is. Let's hop back off there. We're going to go pick. Um, we know if this was left shoulder, this is probably right shoulder. Right shoulder. There's my deformer. And I'm going to go back to add. I'm going to go back to paint. We should have this little brush again, and we should be able to paint. And I want to be careful not to get the arm. Okay, that's a bit better. I should get to a position where that arm is more zoomed out so it's easier to see what's happening. Let's see where his dance moves get a little. That's better. I can get him right in there. Right in the underarm. Oh. And I might smooth that as well. It has other painting tools I can remove. Although actually I can see he still has a weird pit here. So I'm going to do a little bit more add there. Add. 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 And we'll go around to his back a little bit. Not that I'm ever going to see his back, but just since I'm here, I may as well make that right. Okay. Now let's, let's check his moves again. We'll go from this perspective here, and ah, we'll go back to 60 or so. Let's deselect them, and we'll watch him do this again. You notice this is not real time, but you'll notice that his, um, his underarm areas are holding together better because of the weight painting. Now, I'm going to show you as well, I don't have to use him. Let's go here, and I'm going to hide him. I'm going to go back to this menu bar over here, and I'm going to take just his geometry and hit H. And actually, let me show you this. If I have my Explorer open, and you can see the characters there, and this icon means it's um, geometry. If I hit my H key, watch what happens. That little H means it's hidden means I can find it again quickly. It's a good way to, so I don't have to look at stuff. And I'm going to take some other geometry and assign it. Um, I'm going to select something on my rig, hit F3. I'm going to reset all so I can re-envelope. And let's put on some different geometry entirely. I'm going to take um, some spheres, polygon spheres. Where's the polygon sphere? There it is. Um, and I have a property panel. There it is. I'm going to make them smaller. And I'm going to give them more detail just to show that they can handle that. Uh, and I'm going to um, duplicate this thing. I'm going to put it there. 
Um, and let me duplicate one here. Ah, good. Uh, this is going to be his foot, roughly like that. Uh, and I'll duplicate a couple more here. Good. And let's put those in so their feet too. We'll move this over here like that. And then we'll move this one over here like that. And now I'm going to make a bunch of them. The system is unhappy. I'm okay with that. It's good that you test these things a bit. It's probably because I hid that other one and I probably shouldn't have done that, but... Oh, I know what my problem is. This should not be in high quality. Hopefully I can switch this out of high quality before it crashes. Okay, let's go to hidden line removal. Ha. Huh. And let's see if that's happier. Oh yeah, that's way happier. And we'll give him a torso of spheres. And some good spheery shoulders. It's a little bit lopsided, but so what? Whoa. That was my fault. Uh, and I'll give him the other arm. And we'll give him a head. Let's give him another one there, you know. And we'll give him a head like that. Okay. So now we're going to use this guide envelope. Um, some of my uh, spheres got out of place, which isn't a big deal. I can push them back. Uh, you know what I'll probably do? I'll probably just select them like this. Except for those guys. Select them like that. And I'll select these guys too. And let's just transfer those back. Just so everything envelopes happier. We don't want the foot to go back though. See, that's one foot, that's the other foot. This is the head. And what are you? You're also the head. Okay. I'm ready to envelope, I think. I think. I mean, you could obviously put more attention to modeling than I am here. I'm just doing this to prove a point. That point being, you can put any geometry on anything. Now, I'm going to open my Explorer. We have all of these spheres. We know this is what we want to be controlled. So let's open our biped rig. I'm going to select all my spheres, like that. I'm going to go to um, Envelope, Set Envelope, yes. Envelope Group, right mouse click. Good. And let's see how that does its thing. That sphere guy doing this, for what it's worth. I probably will have those same painting issues. And actually, I can see I have that same elbow issue. Um, I have to say, Softimage is very good at this. It's one of the few, um, the few character animation things that is very hard to do and that Softimage does make much simpler. Um, I know a lot of programs where this sort of thing can take a week or more. And in here it can generally be done in a couple seconds. Even here you can see where I have mess ups on my, or well, on the, where the geometry is assigning where I would want to do weight painting on it. I'll do some hidden line removal here. So I would probably weight paint here to fix that, that problem I had before. Um, and remember, I can also hide these things and I could bring up my other figure, which is still there. Um, if I go back down here, uh, H, oh, that's wrong. Uh, I'm going to go 8, and then I'm going to take all my spheres, and we'll hide those. And now I'll show you the guy again. He's still there, fine as can be. So that's the next step after we animate these rigs, okay? Once your rig is doing what you want to do, you get into that T position, you put whatever geometry on it you want. Good? Okay, I'm going to um, 